is going on everybody? Welcome to another Pi Game tutorial video for the new Boston from Centex. Uh, what we're going to be doing in this video is talking about uh, some of the more logic based things uh, for Pi Game as well as some of the uh, events that we uh, can use. So, uh, before the quit, uh, we'll put our code here. So this is our first little update and now we're going to have, have a very basic what is known as a game loop. So, um, first what we're going to do is, um, every, every game, since we didn't, our other game didn't really stick around for very long, every game has to have some sort of title. So, we do want to kind of give this, this game some sort of title. The first game I want us to make is uh, a snake-like game. So, the snake game is where you have, you know, maybe a, a small snake at first, and he slides around, you control him with your arrow keys, and each time he gets an apple, so to speak, he gets a little longer, the snake does. And so basically the objective is the, of the game is to not hit the edges of the screen or don't hit yourself, so you can't run into yourself. So each time you eat an apple, you get a little longer, so obviously eventually you have to lose the game. So um, we're going to call our game uh, Slither. So to add a title, so... Uh, the title of the window, for example, so like if we look at this window, the title of this window is Python 3.4.1, Pi Game Video Tutorial, blah, 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 blah. So in Pi Game, that's called a caption. I'm not sure why they call that caption, but they do. So uh, we're going to say uh, Pi Game dot display dot set underscore caption. And then here you give a string, and that's the title or I suppose the caption to the window. So we're going to call it Slither. So that's our, our little title here. <clears throat> so now uh, we're going to come down here and we're going to specify a sort of constant variable, if you will. And that's going to be called game exit. And we're going to say game exit right now equals false. And we're going to create this really simple game loop. Um, but and eventually we'll actually turn it into a true what's known as a main loop um, but for now we'll keep it real basic and we're gonna say while not uh, game exit colon and then we're gonna specify the code block that we want to occur under this uh, while loop so basically this is asking while um, while not game exit so it's basically saying while while game exit is false okay so alternatively, if you say while game exit, it would ask while game exit is true. Okay, so while not game exit is asking while it's false, what do you want to do? And what we want to do is we're going to use the built-in event handling in Pygame, and we're going to say for event. So we're specifying this kind of ver temporary variable name in this for loop. So for event in Pygame dot event dot get, what do we want to do? And for now, I'm just going to show you guys uh, that we can print uh, the event. So you can see all of the events uh, that are coming out because it's a lot of events. So let's go ahead and save and run this real quick. And so here's our window. You can see our title is Slither. And in the background here, you can see um, the events. So what I'll try to do is I'll move this over here. And as you move your mouse in here, you see like all this stuff that's being spammed at us basically. It's giving us the position of our mouse. It's giving us any buttons that have been pressed and so on. So alternatively, we can bring this up here. Uh, do this and where is Slither? Here it is. And so we hold our mouse still, I'm not touching it anymore. And I'll hit like K. And you see how we have key down, key up. So it's not just did you press that key, it's are you still pressing it? Have you pulled it up and all that. Um, so all the keys here. Um, so that's that. And so as you can see, there's pretty much all these events. And you didn't have to do any, <laughs> any of this at all yourself. That was really nice. That saved you a lot of coding to uh, do the event handling. So really, they do the event sort of event handling, but you decide how you want to actually handle those events. Um, so anyways, uh, that is um, the beginning of our Pygame logic. Now there's obviously a lot of other things that are going to happen, but basically while not game exit, and then you're going to have for event in pygame.event.get, and then under here, you're going to have all kinds of events that you might have. So in, in, in our snake game, we're going to have something like the arrow keys being pressed. 
we're gonna have um, I said probably just the arrow keys and really an exit those are gonna be the only like true events that happen and then so under here you have your events and your event handling and then after your event handling you're gonna have a, a block of logic basically that determines okay where is our snake where's our snake gonna move next is our snake off the screen so did they die and then our, is our snake touching ourselves are we touching ourselves I'm immature <laughs> and um, or, or did we just run into an apple right did we eat that apple um, that kind of thing you have that under under that and that is almost how most games pretty much act you've got your event handling and you've got your your logic and basically what's going to update the uh, graphics to the screen so we're going to carry on uh, with that probably the next one we'll be doing a handling of a like a quit event for example so we run this right now um, and we bring up this window and we hit the X nothing happens but you'll see actually let me bring this up and then hit the X again you'll see that event and it says quit right it was a quit event um, and it knows that it was a quit event and also another interesting thing is you can hold over and if you pull off of the screen you actually get uh, whether or not the window is active or not and probably in the next video we'll talk a little bit more about all of the events that Pygame can, can basically take in because um, there's a lot of them most of the time people just use key presses but you can do a lot of really cool event handling so we'll cover up uh, cover those basics in the next video so anyways uh, thanks for watching stay tuned for the next video